monkeys. Uh, it's very nice to be with you. I have enjoyed spending this week with you. We still have more to go. Is the thing. This is a cathartic moment, but it's still in the middle of the thing. We still have more. I'm very happy about that. Um, we're going to get things started here. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to give a long speech. I could. I could tell you a lot of stories. A lot of embarrassing stories. Just one. At least one. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna embarrass them. You know why? Because I love them. They're my friends and I love them. That's the best reason. Because they wrote this introduction for me, so it's uh, will you please welcome to the stage my very good friends and unindicted co-conspirators, Paul and Storm. Concert. That's a view, huh? Yeah, we got a boat. Yeah. Do you know how much it cost us to rent a boat to put behind us? <laughs> That's not even the boat we came in on. I know. We had to like redress the boat to make it look like the Osterdam. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I don't know if I'm ready to start singing yet. Now, the reason why Jonathan didn't tell any embarrassing stories about us is because he knew we'd handle that ourselves. <laughs> uh, okay, so how many of you, show of hands, have never attended a... Like, don't put your hand up yet. <laughs> Very literal. Uh, how many of you have never attended a Paul and Storm live performance? Wow. <laughs> See, uh, most of you raised your hands because all the smart people aren't here yet. The <laughs> two words come on. No, we're Paul and Storm. Uh, like we said a minute and a half ago. Still are. We wrote this song. God, like six, seven years ago. Never thinking that in 2019 it would remain just as relevant. <laughs> as the day it was released. <laughs> and yet here we stand, about to sing it again. <laughs> Only a couple lyrics are not quite accurate at this point. But it comes from the bottom of our hearts and it comes with love. Storm, please play the opening chords of our opening song. You're not going to get any younger, you know Winter is coming, I'm growing impatient And you still got to hold their books back to go So right, George, right like the wind <laughs> First, the day that my friend ever loaned me An old dog-eared paperback called Game of Thrones How could I know that this seat would grow into an addiction That held me right down to my bones Now five months later I work with the masses Indignant, entitled, and waiting for a word That the great bearded glacier has finally published <laughs> 900 more pages of crack for the nerds What is every new verse of your song? Keep taking you so goddamn long. George R. R. Martin, please write it right faster. Please give us foil, feather, and sigils and steel. We need our allotment of incest and intrigue and six-page descriptions of every last beat. So write George right like the wind. <laughs> Five years to chronicle Narnia, Tolkien had twelve years and Rowling took ten. Lucas spent nearly three decades on Star Wars, and we all know how that one turned out in the end. <laughs> you're not our bitch, and you're not a machine, and you don't mean to dictate how you spend your days. But please bear in mind, in the time that you have, we have Shakespeare churned out thirty-five friggin' plays. And if you keep writing so slow, You'll hold up the HBO show! <laughs> Final season, April 
14. <laughs> Not the <being> 14. <laughs> George R. R. Martin, please write and write faster, cause we won't stop fighting until we were appeased. We wrote out the chapters, and George, while you're at it, stop killing our favorite characters, please. And write, George writes. Like the week. George R. R. Martin, please write and write faster. Before you are dead, George, please write like the wind. 